in the moment tonight, first, I have two things that I want to do in this moment. First, because it was Thanksgiving, um, and Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks. Um, and I remember growing up in church, and the song always says, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks. Um, and so I want to give thanks to all of you guys at home for being part of this movement. I know I do it all the time, but you can, gratefulness is the greatest prayer that any one person can ever have. So to all of you guys out there who watch the Fowler Show, who subscribe to our, who are part of our movement, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And there's nothing but, I wish you nothing but happiness and lovingness and thanksgivingness um, in this season. And all I say to you is if you are at home this Thanksgiving and your family and you guys are around the table eating, you're gobbling your turkey down or you've already gobbled your turkey down, think about those that don't have the ability to do that and find ways to give back to them. And you don't, like, listen, you don't have to give, we at the Fowler Show don't ask you to be a member, and not saying we won't, but we don't ask you to pay for membership, we don't ask you to do much, um, but if you like the Fowler Show, give to somebody else in our name, and say, I'm doing this because I'm a member of Fowler Nation, and so I'm going to go out and I'm going to feed the homeless, or I'm going to go out and give $20 to my local charity. Do that for me, if you would. And the other moment for you. Um, I want to part you, give you a piece of, you know, I always like to give you a spiritual jewel or gem to take away. Um, and this is a quote um, that I love. When I read it, it really spoke to my spirit. It said, courage is never letting your actions be influenced by your fears. Fear should never be a factor for you in your life. Don't let fear influence your actions. Let, you need to operate from a place of courage, a place of strength, Right? You're always going to have fear in your life. And if you let fear dictate what happens next in your future, you're never going to see your dreams achieved. So go out there, take a leap of faith. I know it's hard. Hell, I've taken a leap of faith. And it's hard. It's stressful. You get sick to your stomach thinking about, oh my goodness, did I make the right decision? Did I make the wrong decision? That's fear. But courage is never letting your actions be influenced by your fears. So... So what? You can't pay the bills next month. Courage says, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to live my dream. And that will, everything else will deal with itself. We'll figure it out. It'll work. Just do that today. Think about that. And think about the fact that don't let, courage is never, let your, to never let your actions be influenced by your fears. Because fe if fear is a factor, fear will cause you to do some crazy stuff, folks. Fear will cause you to stay inside when you need to be outside. Fear will cause you to put the phone down when you need to pick the phone up. Fear will cause you to not ask for that contribution, not ask for that raise, not ask for that promotion. But courage will say, hell, what's the worst that can happen? They say no. That's all they can say is no. Right? That's all they say can say is not this time. But you never know until you ask. So courage. Take courage. Take courage knowing and let your heart, if you're living your purpose, let your, heart, let your heart be the driver and just courage and tell fear to get in the back seat, baby, because we're moving forward. Listen, folks, on behalf of myself, Rich Webster, and everybody here at Fowler Nation, I want to wish you a happy holiday season as we embark on it, a belated Thanksgiving. Um, and I want to tell you, how grateful we are that you are part of our movement. Gratefulness is the greatest prayer that anyone could have, and I am so grateful to all of you.